I from simplyscuba.com. In this session, we're looking at the Sunto Viper Dive Computer. Let's take a closer look. OK, so we look at some of the features on the computer then. It's a wrist-mounted computer, as you can see. So we've got a nice large wrist strap there. Makes it really easy to fit over the top of uh, dry suits, or you can obviously tighten it up to fit over the, the wrist on your wetsuit. The case itself actually surrounds the computer, keeps it nice and protected. So obviously, uh, if you drop it or anything like that, it'll stop it from getting damaged too much. As with all Santo products as well, it's built nice and rugged of high quality. On the front, we have a couple of buttons, really easy to get hold of, especially if you've got gloves on as well, nice and easy to push and locate. And we've got a little screen protector on the front as well, just to protect the screen. The screen itself as well has nice large digits on it. It's nice, um, easy to read display. We've also got a built-in light as well for any uh, low-level light conditions. So let's take a look at some of the features then. So some of the features actually include in the computer system itself. It is air and nitrox compatible, so you can set that at the surface depending on obviously your air mix before you dive. It has altitude adjustment on there as well, so obviously if you're diving above sea level, you can adjust that and let the uh, computer make the relevant calculations. It has an audio and visual alarm on there as well, so you can be uh, safe in the knowledge that it can communicate to you while you're on your dive and you'll be fully aware of any situations that it wants to uh, communicate to you. As a user, replaceable battery which cuts down on maintenance costs so you can take that out and replace it with another battery yourself. We also have a PC interface at the back as well so you can transfer all the content and dives from the computer onto your PC uh, and have them stored on there and also get some extra information like graphs and, and bits and pieces like that. As a built-in dive planner on there as well. So you can put the, uh, the dive planner on, be uh, completely aware of your dive situation before you even get into the water, which is, again, a really great added feature. If we now take a look at the menu system. Okay, so we can now take a look at the menu system on the computer then. Just to note quickly, there is usually a plastic cover which just does go over the front of the computer just to protect the screen itself. But we have removed this for the video just to reduce the glare and so you can see the screen a little more clearly. So currently, the computer's sat in its idle stage. This just normally happens when the computer's left dormant for around three minutes or so, it will switch to this mode. This just displays the current time, date, and also the day. There's a water-activated computer as well, so once you do submerge it, it will automatically switch to its dive mode. But you can get to the dive mode by pressing any of the buttons. The buttons themselves, as you can see, there's three on the front there. You have a mode button, a time button, and also a plan button at the bottom as well. So to get into the dive mode, press one of the buttons. This will then quickly show a battery indicator and then go through the dive mode itself. So as you can see here, we have a, a depth meter. We have a dive time and also a water temperature section at the bottom there. If we press the time button in the dive mode, it will display the current time. If we press the plan button, we send you through to the dive planner. So what we have here is a maximum depth by using the time and plan buttons as up and down. You can increase and decrease your max depth. Then once you've selected your depth, it will then give you a no decompression time. So this is a great little added feature. You can be fully aware of your dive situation before you even enter the water and that be really prepared and ready for the dive. So if you ever want to go back to the main dive section at any stage, you can literally just press the mode button, which will send you back to the main dive screen. So some of the other modes we've got then. By pressing the mode button again, it sends you through to a secondary menu. Again, using the time and plan buttons, you can scroll up and down. We have a memory setting, a simulator setting, and also a main area to adjust any other settings on the computer. So if we go back to memory, pressing the mode button to enter the menu, then get a, uh, a third menu for memory, which again you can scroll through. So we have a logbook, history, and also a PC interface section. So the logbook, this stores around 47 to 50 hours approximately of dive history. It stores all your relevant information which you can access. Obviously, currently, this doesn't have any dives stored on it, but you can literally use the, again, the plan and time buttons to scroll through those dives uh, that you've stored. 
the history section. This just stores the information from your last dive. So obviously if you want to jot down all your information into a logbook after your dive, you can go to this page at a later date, jot all your information down, it's all stored there for you. And finally, we have the PC interface. So this is an optional added extra that you can get for the computer, it literally clips onto the back, go to this stage in the menu, and then transfer all the data from the computer onto a PC, giving you extra information like graphs, and obviously store all your dives onto the PC. So if we go back again, and we'll take a look at the simulator. We then get a few more options of how you can simulate your dive, again helping you to plan out your dive, making you fully prepared, so you're fully aware of all your decompression stops and all your other bits and pieces so you're ready to dive. After that, we then have the set menu. This then gives you the options to adjust the dive information, time information, any other dive preparations, which you can all access through the menus through here. So there's all sorts of things like um, adjusting the modes, which gives you the options for your altitude adjustment if you need to. Also personal adjustment, you can fine tune the, the readings on the computer depending on how you like to dive and get the relevant information. And then all that information is all stored in the set menu. So as you can see, you can really fine tune the settings on the computer. It's really simple and easy to use. A nice clear display, everything you need in your dive computer.